So I'm joined by manager Paul Jones here after a 1-0 defeat at home against Longridge Town. Paul, a game that we dominated possession for the majority of the game. We played some fantastic football. We just couldn't find the net and we were punished. Yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's really tough, isn't it? In terms, like, it, it was our mistake as well, which gave them the goal. Like, like they didn't create a huge amount after that. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's, we're very upset about not coming away with points tonight. I think the performers deserve that, but you don't always get what you deserve in football. And we weren't clinical enough in front of goal. Uh, we weren't didn't have the intent to score and, and didn't make the most of the, the possession that we had at, at the, the moments we needed to. So, yeah, really, really disappointed. But as you say, there, there was some really positive performances, wasn't there, individually and some really good football. And, you know, we, we made them chase around for a bit for large parts and we just didn't quite have that cutting edge or ruthlessness um, in the final third to, to get over the line. So, yeah, a t- tough one to take and we'll use it there's fuel in the fire to, to get us um, up and back at it, ready for Tuesday. And we, we talk about positive, like we've got to take a positive out the negative here from the result. As you mentioned there, individual performance, but as a whole, the stuff that you've worked on in pre-season, it's very clear to see that message has now got across to the lads and what, what they are doing on that pitch is what you're asking of them. Yeah. But yeah. it just, we didn't have that end, final end product tonight, but the passing, the movement, the positioning of the players, it's fantastic. Well, it's it's getting there, isn't it? But you know, it's all well and good having you know lots of possession in a game and being comfortable. But if if you don't score goals, then you can't win football matches, and ultimately that's cost us tonight. And um, you know, Longridge did really well once they won, went one up, and you know, wound, wound the clock down and sat in. And you know, it's, it's them playing in a low block even with ten makes it difficult to 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 score and to create chances. And I thought we did well up until they got the lads sent off. And then at that point, they, they just really collapsed down uh, the pitch. And we just didn't move the ball quickly enough from side to side to create opportunities for crosses or, or for shots at goal. And, you know, we, we don't play against teams who do that to us that often. Um, we had a little bit of it last season. Um, you know, when the game's very open, I think, you know, we've got some fantastically, admit, fa- fantastically good counter-attacking players. Um, and tonight... They didn't really get the opportunity to do that because of how Longridge set up after going one ahead so early. So, you know, it, it, it's, a, it's a type of game and the, a type of way of playing that we need to get better at. And we'll, we'll keep working on it. Um, but I think we had more than enough to get some points tonight. Um, so it's, you know, we're not happy. Um, but we've, we have to take the positives into the next game and then build on that. And, you know, the, we've got 43 more games of this season. We'll, mid, we'll win a lot of games if we play like that on a consistent basis um, with a little bit more cutting edge. So, And we, we, we now talk about Tuesday night. Obviously, we're going away. That's our first game of five away in 19 days. For you as a manager, you know, your squad, that will test your squad, your, your, your 22-man squad. What do you expect from them five games? Obviously, we've got as well a big contingent of supporters going away yeah, yeah. for each of these games. Fantastic. No, How brilliant. much will that help, you know, especially after a result like tonight, them getting behind you in an away game on a Tuesday night? How big's that? Yeah, I, think it, I mean, it's fantastic first and foremost. I thought the, the supporters again were great tonight. Um, everyone was a bit flat and quiet, you know, after Long Ridge scored so early in the first half and we, we kind of needed to move the ball a bit quicker and have a bit more energy. But I think second half, the crowd really did their bit and, you know, we're looking forward to playing you know, in front of the conspiracy, the away travels. Um, over the next five games, you know, I think, you know, with, with West Didsby now being pushed back into September, it's made this run a little bit easier. Um, and we've got a couple of gaps in between um, the Saturday fixtures after, after this Tuesday. So, no, um, a lot of them are used to it now. I'm, I'm not expecting it to cause us any problems. And I do expect us to be right at it from minute one to minute 97. Um, you know, trying to get more points on the board, you know, but I think every manager wants performance and results, don't we? And we had a half decent performance today, but didn't get over the line. And, you know, I think, that, you know, there's other times of the season and probably tonight I'd much have preferred us to play rubbish and then get the three points. So, you know, it, you're right. You can see there's been lots of work and lots of improvement within the group, but um, yeah, that wasn't enough tonight and, and we need to go again on Tuesday. Paul, thanks for your time and we'll catch up with you again on Tuesday. Cheers. Cheers.